In the dimly lit parlor, adorned with tapestries depicting ancient symbols and flickering candles, casting eerie shadows, a young woman named Emily sought solace and answers from the renowned psychic, Madame Evangeline. Emily, a devoted stoner, had come in search of guidance, her heart heavy with both curiosity and apprehension. Madame Evangeline, her eyes gleaming with an otherworldly wisdom, studied Emily intently. The air grew heavy with anticipation as she delved into the depths of her psychic abilities, connecting with forces beyond mortal comprehension. Finally, she spoke, her voice carrying an ethereal quality. Child, your future is shrouded in darkness, Madame Evangeline began, her voice a gentle yet ominous whisper. I see a path fraught with trials and sorrows, a journey where joy is eclipsed by heartache. Emily's breath caught in her throat, her eyes widening in fear. Is there no hope? No happiness awaiting me. She stammered, her voice trembling with a mix of dread and desperation. Madame Evangeline's gaze pierced through Emily's very soul, her voice filled with a somber certainty. There are moments of joy, dear child, but they will be tainted by a shadow that lingers, she warned, her words like icy tendrils creeping into Emily's consciousness. As the session drew to a close, Madame Evangeline extended her hand, her eyes urging Emily to fulfill her part of the exchange. Payment is due, my child, she said, her voice a subtle blend of expectation and warning. Emily's heart fluttered with a mix of uncertainty and defiance. Doubt seeped into her mind, prompting her to question the authenticity of the psychic's words. I can't pay. I'm sorry, but I can't. She whispered, her voice filled with reluctant determination. A flicker of annoyance flashed across Madame Evangeline's face, her once gentle countenance contorting into a mask of displeasure. To refuse payment is to invite the wrath of forces you do not comprehend, she warned, her voice laced with a touch of menace. But Emily, caught in the grip of her own skepticism, stood her ground. I can't believe in something without proof. I won't pay for what I'm not convinced is real, she declared, her voice trembling with a mixture of fear and stubbornness. Madame Evangeline's eyes narrowed, her patience strained to its limit. With a voice that seemed to emanate from realms beyond, she spoke the words that would forever change Emily's existence. So be it, defiant child. I curse you with an insatiable hunger, a voracious appetite that shall haunt your every moment of indulgence. Emily's eyes widened, her heart pounding in her chest as the gravity of her actions sank in. Please, I didn't mean to. I take it back, she pleaded, her voice filled with desperation. But the psychic remained unyielding, her gaze unflinching. It is too late, my child. The curse has been cast, and you shall bear its weight. From that day forward, every time Emily partook in the beloved herb that brought her solace, her hunger spiraled out of control. The munchies consumed her, an insatiable force compelling her to devour everything in her path. Food lost its taste, merely fuel for her cursed appetite that knew no bounds. Emily's life spiraled into turmoil as she battled the unyielding hunger, her body changing, her once lithe figure transforming into a vessel of insatiable desires. The pleasure she once found in her herb turned into a nightmare a constant battle against her cursed cravings. Haunted by her own skepticism and the weight of the psychic's curse, Emily learned a hard lesson about the consequences of her actions. The curse served as a reminder that there are forces beyond our understanding, and to challenge them without caution can have dire consequences. And so, the tale of Emily. The stoner, cursed with uncontrollable munchies, 
serves as a chilling reminder of the fragile balance between skepticism and belief, and the high price one may pay for defying the enigmatic powers that dwell within the shadows of the supernatural realm.